We're on the mountain. I'm alive, which is a good start. Now we're getting to a part where it's mostly climbing and technical stone. I don't know what it is. It's just hard, okay? It's just really, really hard. Let's just say this, my first few days in Ethiopia didn't go as well as I wanted. I only had 10 days for the trip, so I decided to spend most of my time in a specific area, an area called Giralta. I chose that place because it had beautiful ancient churches carved into the mountain tops of the area, thinking they could generate a stunningly beautiful photography project. Now searching for these churches isn't really the difficult part. The real challenge is to try to find something more, an interesting story, a unique character. The problem is that finding these things can take a very long time. And as a photographer with a limited budget, every day that goes by just adds more pressure to get things done. And the fear of failure is constant. I think it was on the third day of searching that I said to myself, okay, enough. I've been searching nonstop since I got here and I haven't even photographed a single image. So in my attempt to get things done, I simply pulled out my drone and started filming. There was one drone flight who stood out. I guess we stopped our car very close to a school or something, since almost as soon as I pulled out my drone, a small army of kids gathered around us. Once we landed, I decided it would be fun to show them the footage we got from the drone, but they kept asking to see more and more and more, and just like that what was supposed to be a short drone filming turned out to be a full-on story time session. So those are uh, Kazakhs, yeah? and they use uh, trained golden eagles to hunt for them. How old are you? One, three. You know, he's also one three. He's also 13. For me, that evening was a turning point in the way this trip was going. It was important for me to stop my search for a while, relax, have fun, and take a moment to clear my mind. In a creative profession like photography, having that constant pressure to perform, to get things done, can push you to do amazing things but it can also easily blind you from recognizing the amazing opportunities that are just there in front of you. Funny enough, it was out of this experience of stopping and enjoying ourselves that we ended up meeting an interesting character, a young kid who later led us to the mountains and helped us make what I would say were probably the first real good images since the starting of this entire trip. <laughs> 